Let me lay the scenario out for you. So we had a client, and the server didn't have much space. But we had a zip file on that uh, client server that if it, we expanded it on there, it would have just depleted the free space. But we needed one little text file to be yanked out of this giant zip file. So I decided it was time for me to learn some of the uh, simpler functions of the unzip command. So I'm going to go over and do a quick little uh, crash course or whatever of what I learned using the unzip command to extract a single file without blowing up the client server. So I need to figure out how to extract a single file on in the command line remotely. Now I could expand the entire zip file because it would have just been too big for the server to handle. It was a very small server. So I had to learn some of the command line functions of zip and unzip. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to touch a new file real quick. So we have 7.file. Now let's look here. I'm going to, the first thing you got to know is a zip file, you can always add more files to it. This was really cool. Because right now if we go um, unzip list text, you'll see we have one through six. But if I zip the uh, zip file and then the new file we want to add, and then now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to export this one. This is the big file. This one's 30 uh, kilobytes, 30 bytes, yeah, 30 bytes long. So the trick here for this is um, there's actually some um, tab completion functions built in to unzip. So if we go unzip P, then we select our file, but now for some reason it's only showing four, but I can do five. If we do this, it's going to push out the contents of that zip to to your console. Now, if it's text, you'll see it like that. If it's a binary file, you're going to see noise. But of course, the obvious solution now at that point is simply to pipe it into there. There we have five file cat five. There we are. This this uh, this is very useful. Uh, the, fortunately for me, the file on the server was a text file, so I was able to cat it out any way I wanted. Uh, I mean, pipe it out any way I wanted. But this uh, will, of course, with this piping here, even as a binary, it should be fine. This was a short one. This was um, fun. I, I I got really excited when I figured this out because I was like, this is such a time saver for when I have the the remote remote where I do remote work because I work from home but also the servers are remote servers so I'm not sure if that's remote work or just remote remote work uh, let me know which one that is all right guys catch you on the next one